Hello everyone, my name is Grayson and I'm a personal trainer. This is Rec Sports to You, striving to thrive in today's new normal. And today we're gonna to be talking about how to maintain activity in this time where we're not really forced to be as active as we used to be. Normally when we're going to classes, when we're going to work, we're up, we're walking around, we're moving much more than we are now. Now without many of those obligations, we can tend to fall back into sitting right on the couch, binging Netflix and not really doing too much. Even if you are getting a home workout in three to five, six times a week, you know, that's still a lot less activity than you were getting with your old job, with walking to classes, with all the movement that we used to do. So one tip that I want to give you to kind of maintain some activity during this time and break up the monotony of the day and kind of put us in a better position that when we head back to the gym, we're not gonna have to overcome so much of a hurdle because we didn't set ourselves so far back. And that is just to track your daily steps. If you have an iPhone, the Apple Health app will track it for you as long as your phone is in your hand, your pocket, your backpack, whatever, it's tracking your daily steps. And what that does is it forces us to be a little bit more active. So I say aim for eight to 10,000 steps a day. Now that is not a very large amount, but it is an amount that you are gonna have to be diligent with. Going for a walk in the morning, maybe after dinner, maybe midday, if you're doing any sort of online uh, schooling in between classes, something like that. That's gonna help a lot, just to kind of make sure we're still using our body throughout the day, not just in that one hour workout that we do once a day, but multiple times a day, because if we're just sitting around the rest of the day and only working out for one hour, well, there's 23 hours of the rest of the day that we're not putting ourselves in a good position to maintain activity. That way, when we get back to the gym, we're not starting all the way back. We've kept ourselves forward with a base level of activity that we're not having to overcome such a big hurdle. So tracking your daily steps, again, aiming for eight to 10,000, any more than that is just gonna be a big bonus for you. It's gonna go a long way in helping you maintain um, some good activity, staying active and healthy during this time.